And one reason why it's not above five bucks here is because of the uh, break that we're getting on local, state, and other yeah. uh, taxes. So to offer some insight now on gas prices, where they're going, Elizabeth Carey, uh, and full disclosure, she's been a friend for, for many uh, years, former journalist, great reporter. She's uh, AAA's Director of Public Relations and Corporate Communications. And Elizabeth, welcome to uh, Mike and Mahailu. Thanks for joining us. Oh, sure. Thanks for having me. I wish we were talking about cheap gas prices, but unfortunately, there's still pain at the pump. Well, that's why Mike and I turn to you because you're the expert. Yeah, I've been studying these gas prices for about seven years now since um, I joined AAA. So I've watched things really fluctuate over the years. And, you know, it wasn't too long ago, gas was $1.99 a gallon and people were so excited about it. And now, unfortunately, this year, we've just seen prices go up and up and up. Elizabeth, obviously gas prices are just climbing everywhere across this country right now. And and looking ahead into the summer months and, and into the fall, do you see this continuing to keep spiking or is do or do we have anything to say it's going to come down? Do you have any clue? Well, it's really hard to say. Gas prices really are reflective of oil prices. And right now, oil prices are through the roof. If you think about during the pandemic, at one point, oil prices were zero or even in negative territory. Then they fully recovered in the fall. And now they've just kept going up and up in price, especially since the Russia-Ukraine situation started to evolve. So right now, they're at about $118, $119 a barrel. They were at 120 earlier um, this week. So it's hard to say. When they go up, our pump prices go up because oil accounts for at least half of what we pay in each gallon of gas that we buy. But is there at least some good news in the short term? Uh, and, and if I had my druthers, we would basically suspend uh, multiple gas taxes across the board that, you know, the county, the, the state, federal, the whole nine yards. But at least is there some semblance of relief with a lot of those uh, gas taxes being temporarily set aside for now? Yeah, I mean, if you look at the national average right now, um, for instance, this week, national na nationwide average up 25 cents a gallon. So that's extremely high jump in a, in a week. And then if you look at Buffalo, it's down 11 cents. That's because of that gas tax cap that went into effect. But there's two things to think about. One, these gas taxes are supposed to pay to maintain our roads and bridges, but they're saying they're going to pay for that out of the other funds. Um, and so they're just going to want to give people relief at the pump. Uh, so that's a good thing. We want to make sure that the roads and bridges are still being taken care of. But unfortunately, uh, the gas tax cap that we're seeing right now, it, it really isn't offsetting these huge jumps that we've seen at the pump in recent weeks. But on the other hand, every little bit helps. So, you know, it's something. Um, and they've released some reserves. The government's done a few things to try and um, ease the pain the pump but these prices they just you know keep moving upward luckily we got a little bit of a break because of this tax cap we're always looking for ways to save you know money on spending on gas i guess right because everybody's always spending filling up their tanks and, and whether whether gas prices are good or bad we're always looking for ways to save there um at the end of the day though cars need gasoline buses need gasoline uh you know planes and trains need gasoline are people still going to be hopping in their cars to drive regardless of gas prices or take, you know, trips across the country regardless of gas prices? Well, we've definitely seen some habits change. So AAA has done some research and people used to say $3 was the tipping point. Too much for me to pay for gas. But this year, people were really tolerable when it's $3.50, $3.75. When it got to $4, there was outrage on social media, people posting pictures of the gas prices. This is too much. And uh, AAA did some consumer research and 75% of consumers, both young and old, said if it gets to $5, they're going to have to change their driving habits. They just won't be able to afford to go so many places. And at the same time, what we saw at Easter time at AAA was a lot of people saying, you know what, um, we were going to drive all the way down to Florida with the family for Easter break, but gas prices are so high, we're going to go as far as Myrtle Beach. So maybe we won't go as far. So this year, people might say, you know, instead of going out west to the national parks this summer, maybe we'll choose an East Coast beach instead, or even something right here in New York State. So we don't have to spend so much on gasoline to get to our destination. But we do expect people to continue to travel because there's a pent up demand for it. Yeah, that's interesting. All right, Elizabeth, before we let you go, um, I got to ask, it's a question that's not gasoline related. Whatever <laughs> happened to those old school, like trip ticks you go in and someone has a yellow highlighter of like the route. It's 97 pages long all over the country. Do you guys still do yeah. those? Like whatever happened to those? Cause I loved them. I actually miss well, them. That was the best. Yeah. Cause you could flip the page and you felt like you were making progress. We're accomplishing something here on this road trip. We're flipping pages. That's a good thing. <laughs> but the good news is we still have the good old fashioned trip tick, but it's electronic now. Um, if you want it printed out, we can still do that. It's a digital format. No one goes through with a highlighter anymore. Computers take care of that for us, but you can get a trip tick. And you know, out West is an example of when people want to get them because people don't realize 
realize how remote it is out there. And there's some places where all of a sudden your GPS drops or your cell phone drops and you're like, wait, we need this map on paper. So people still do come in to get them on a regular basis. I never thought of that. If you're yeah. somewhere and there's like a dead zone. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, Elizabeth yeah. Carey, AAA, thank you so much for joining us. And, and we really appreciate the perspective uh, oh, on sure, out anytime. of control gas prices. Thank you very much. Yeah. Greatly appreciate it.